I'm about to do a division strategy. I'm doing it because I work better with numbers, like nice numbers. I work better with. Okay, first, I have to see how much times 12 goes in 50. 12 times 5 is 60. So that's too high. So you go down. 12 times 4 is a further. Then you carry the 4 up there. 12 times 12 times 4 gives you 48. And now you can't take 0 away from 8. So cross that out, make that a 2. Cross this out, make that a 4. 4 is 0. 10 is 2. You bring down 4. 2 is going to 2 for 2 times. 12 times 2 is 24. Is There's no remainder. I'm going to check it. 42 times 12. 2 times 2 is 24. 2 times 2 gives me 8. Put the 0. 2 times 1 is 2. Four plus times 4 is 4. Right there. That's 4. 8 plus 4 is 10. Carry on with 4. Double 4. There's your answer. That's your answer. So, can you explain what were you dividing? I was dividing, really, I was dividing 12. I was like 504 divided by 12. 504 divided by 12. Can you explain to me how 504 was divided into 12 groups based on what you did there? Well, if you see 12. But is that number five? This right, right here? Uh huh. Yes. It is? How do you know it's no, five? You, 12 can't go on five. So you is that number five? It is? What place is it in? So is it five? Because five. It's 500. It's 500. So can you tell me how 12 relates to 500 instead of 12 relating to five? You see that 12 can go into 500. It can. How many times do you think 12 can go into 500? Like, about 20 times. You think about 20 times? You want to try it and see if your estimation is is accurate? So do you think it'll be 20? What do you think? Like 40? Like 40? Okay, try 40 and see if that's a better estimate. <laughs> you go over there and play your game, please. Thank you. It's a little bit closer, but not quite. Do you think you could get any closer? Okay, so go ahead and above that multiplication problem, put your 12 times 40 back up there for me, please. 12 times 40. 12 times 40, that first estimate that you did. Okay, and do you remember the answer you got for that? For 12 times 40? 480. It was 480. Go ahead and write that pro product back up there for me, please.
Okay, so 480. And when you look at that 480, does that relate to anything else that you did in the traditional way of dividing there? It doesn't? So when you did, um, I guess you were doing 50 divided by 12, or what you thought was 50 divided by 12. What did you come up with? 50 divided by 12. Yeah. I came up with, well, my first thought was 50 down, 12 times 6 came to my head. I knew that was too high. Okay. Okay, so stop right there. You said you did 12 times 4 and I gave you... Is that similar at all to when you did 12 times 40? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So when you look at that whole number of 500 instead of it just being 50, what happened? There will be no soccer club today. However, there is still going to be... I to do some borrowing and carrying. You had to do some borrowing and carrying. Okay, can you explain what else you did in that method that you chose? You can't explain what else you did. Why not? Uh, probably too complicated. I can't like. Can't like explain it like I, I wanted to. It's probably too. Well, you go ahead and make an attempt. I don't get what you want. I'm I'm trying to make sense of the strategy that you that you use to divide. I see the procedure and that was wonderful. I could follow your procedure, but can you tell me how what you did relates to dividing that whole number up into twelve equal groups? Well, I did. You see, twelve can go on can can, can go on fifty, <laughs> but you know that you go to twelve times six is twelve times five is sixty. I'm going to get down, that's time, 12 times 4 is 48. Put the carry to 4, 12 times 4 equals 48. 48, you know 0 can't go on to 8. Scratch that out, make that a 10. Scratch that out, make it a 4, that's 0. 10 take away, we already know 8 plus 2 gives you 10. So 10 take away 8 gives you 2. Bring down the 4. And 12 can go on to 24 2 times. 12 times 2 gives you 24. Subtract that, that gives you 0. Okay. 